Hi, I'm Gregory M. Smith, and uh, Dan asked me to do a short segment called From uh, Head to Table, which sounds a little distressing, but I'll roll with it. Uh, I want to talk about a newly released game of mine called Zeppelin Raider. Um, and so, how did this come about? Well, I met a guy when I was working on Silent Victory uh, by the name of uh, Captain Paul O'Grady, Royal Australian Navy, of all things. And he said, you know what? You need to take Raider, I mean, uh, the Hunters, that game system, and apply it to Zeppelins. And I was like, I didn't know much about Zeppelins. So I was like, okay, I'll look into it. Well, sure enough, I, uh, I got this book, The Zeppelin in Combat, by Douglas Robinson. Awesome. I mean, it's got operational history, very readable, but personal anecdotes, tables, charts, detailed information. It's essentially the Bible for this topic. And so the more I read, I was like, wow, this would be awesome. So uh, that's how kind of the project got started, and I started working on it. Uh, the interesting thing uh, to me was, you know, you're not flying submarines around in the sky. These are very fragile aircraft, not to mention the fact they're flammable. So I had to account for all that in the game. Um, and it became very clear early on that uh, this game really needed to focus around lift. And the lift of the airship, you know, is really the key consideration and one of the key things that the player has to manage. Uh, you vent hydrogen, uh, which is your lifting agent, out of your gas cells, you're going to descend. You drop your water ballast, you're going to rise. Uh, of course, if you get shot full of holes from an aircraft fire, you're going to descend as well. So, you know, if you've got emergency jettison, you've got a, you're also burning fuel, and the fuel is weight. And so anything that, as you burn fuel, you'll actually rise as well. And then there's dynamic lift also from the uh, engines running and sort of a lifting body to a small degree. Um, but you have to take all those things into account, and it's actually pretty interesting. It's not... It's a it's a different cat. I mean, a different kind of beast here. You're you're fighting your unreliable. I mean, this is 1914 through 1918. You're fighting your own your own unreliable engines and the weather probably and the wind as much as you are fighting the enemy. So it's kind of interesting for that viewpoint. But the player really has to pay a lot of attention to his ballast uh, and his weight and his basically his uh, lift management. Uh, you don't need a degree in aeronautics to play the game. Um, it's all it's reasonably playable, just like most of my games are. I'd like to think so. Um, but it was really neat, and so it's it's very different. It turned out uh, I was love the art. Um, the artist Olivier Revenu uh, from France just gave it a real period feel, and uh, love what he did with uh, with that. And here's a little example of why do we need artists. Well, you know, here's here's my rough draft, uh, what we call the dress-up doll, or where you keep track of your awards. And here's what the artist comes back with. Okay, slightly nicer. Uh, here's my X-Class Zeppelin. This is my rough prototype. And the artist says, hey, I can do better than that. And he did. So really happy with, uh, you know, and, and for example, you know, log sheet and then the nice log sheet. So yes, this is why we need artists, especially for those of us who aren't artists. Um, but to me, a game really is a failure if it doesn't teach you a little history along the way. And so I really try to put a lot of historical research into it. Eight different types of Zeppelins. Um, all researched as far as their capabilities and what machine guns they carried, if any, uh, lifeboats and what have you, and how many bombs they could drop. But um, I was really happy with this one. It, it turned out pretty neat. Um, and just uh, to wrap up the segment, I thought I'd uh, display or at least let you know I, I think up these crazy, I have all these crazy ideas and Compass is nice enough to me to agree to do most of them. But uh, some of the games I have coming out, another World War I game, Western Front Ace. Uh, Interceptor Ace is being worked on right now. These are all, these are two sequels to the Night Fighter Ace system. 
this one's a little off the track. Uh, America Bomber, Evil Queen of the Skies. So it's kind of like B-17 uh, in reverse. Your, your, the time is 1947. It's alternate history. If you could pan over, you see I uh, also have The Hunted is coming out through GMT shortly. Um, and Beneath the Med as well. That finally hit its P-500 uh, track. And, uh, and I'm still in the design stages of Sensuicon, which is uh, my Japanese version of the Hunters. But uh, that'll probably do it for now. Welcome to my uh, man cave, and uh, thanks for spending time. Talk to you later.